In this video, we're going to learn about combining data frames, whether it's using um, by columns or by rows. And so in order for us to do this, we have to have a data frame for us to combine. And so the data frames or data frame that we're going to be referring to is this game data frame that has various information about players that play either game one or game two. Talk about their height, I mean, not their height, the age, their system, the, how many days they've played the game, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of different variables that are in that data frame. So in order for us to get access to this data frame, we're going to have to install a certain package. All right, so there's two steps to this. You can just copy and paste these two lines of code and run them. So I'm going to I'm gonna have you run this on your own. You should do one at a time. And I'm going to press pause and have you run these two lines of code on your own. So actually, if you run into this particular issue when installing the second line of code, what you should do is it's asking you, should you update any of these other existing libraries? And here, all you're going to do is just press three for none. So you're going to um, update only none of them. So you will go ahead and run that and then it should quickly install. If you have any questions, make sure you just ask me via email or um, during our class. So you go ahead and run that and there we go, they're installed. So we're going to do most of our work within an R markdown file. So I'm going to go ahead and create an R markdown file. We can call this practice combining. Press OK. We're going to go ahead and erase this file, create a new chunk, R chunk. And we can run, we can now have, we now have access to, of course, library tidyverse, which is really important in terms of combining our data frames. And we have this new package called stack cow poly package. And that's where our data frames are going to exist. So we can go ahead and run this. Okay. And we have our data frames. And so you'll see, we'll get access to them in a little bit. So the first kind of combining is Combining by columns. Okay, we're gonna combine by columns. So essentially what you have is you have one data frame here that has um three rows. Okay, and then you have another data frame here that has again three rows, and both data frames have to have the same number of rows in order for you to combine by columns, okay? And the function is called bind calls for binding by columns. And your resulting data frame is going to be this four by five data frame that has the columns combined. So let's go ahead and work with this. So here, there's a data frame called basic info teen data frame. So you have basic, start typing it, it should show up basic info team data frame okay and when i run this it's going to be similar to this output here you have the id you have the group age you have the age and gender okay so what this assumes is that you have information within this particular data frame okay and then you have a second data frame okay which is basic or game sorry game info team data frame and you run that and it's similar to what you have here. You have game, CD, and download. So what this is assuming is that both data frames, if you run across, is the same information. So for person ID 333, who's a teenager at 17 and is a female, they belong to game one, CD one, and they have the, they down they got it as a CD and they also downloaded it. Okay. So what we want to do is bind both of these data frames, okay? And the only way we can do that is only if it has the same number of rows. So we use this function called bind calls that allows us to bind these two columns, I mean these two data frames. Okay, so when we do that, 
we see that the first data frame shows up first and then the second frame data frame shows up second okay as we see here in our notes we can also do this using the pipe function so if we do if we start typing basic info team data frame pipe bind calls we can do gain info teams and it will run it'll give you the same data frame these two data frames are the same okay so you all can answer this question on your own okay binding both the adult basic adult, adult information as well as game adult information and we want to proceed on now in the video to bind rows so here in order for us to bind these rows they have to have the same number of columns so it's 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 the opposite so you have to have the same number of columns in order for you to bind these rows okay so let's take a look at these data frames before we actually bind them we already saw basic teen info but we can see it again within our our console at least within running it within a snippet we have the same information here and then we can create or at least view the adult information the adult basic information so we see basic adult data frame as you can see it's going to have the same number of columns it needs to have the same number of columns for us to bind by rows okay bind by rows so we can utilize the function bind rows function and we do basic teen data frame with basic adult data frame and they're going to show up on top of each other okay it's going to show up on top of each other similarly we can use the pipe function if you just start typing basic uh, and this time i'm going to do opposite i'm going to oh well, i'll keep it consistent let's keep it consistent teen data frame and then we'll do row or is it called it's called bind rows basic adult and it's going to give me the same exact data frame okay as you can see here and so these binding techniques are important um We'll see more in class. So we really um, using raw data where we're going to use these techniques. So our next video is going to be about joins. So look forward for that. Have a good one.